Well, it has been a wet spring and summer here in Colorado, and if you think you've been seeing more bugs around, you're not alone. Photojournalist Mark Nitro has seen a lot of different insects in his garden this year, and he wanted to find out if the extra moisture has affected our insect population. With all the rain we've had in Colorado this year, I was wondering how it's affecting our insects. So I came to the Butterfly Pavilion to find out more. Years when we have really wet springs tend to be a very positive thing for these small critters around us. I was wondering how our bees were affected and the honey supply. When there's a mismatch between these temperature cues or these day length cues, we see things like delays in honey production, delays in agricultural crops that pollinators are responsible for. And what about the ladybugs? So often ladybugs will be released as a way to control pests in our gardens. When ladybugs come before the animals that they eat, then again, that mismatch may affect population numbers. And Japanese beetles? They don't have a native predator. They don't have checks and balances in place to keep their numbers under control. So we see these big explosions of Japanese beetles. And even though they are quite pretty to look at, they don't quite belong. And we can't forget about the butterflies. They are very, very sensitive to habitat changes. So they are what we call indicator species. As soon as the habitat is degraded or damaged, one of the first animals to suffer will be butterflies. And how about everyone's favorite background singer, the cicadas? 2023 is not um, one of those expected big booms in cicadas. 2024 is. So actually next year we can expect higher numbers of cicadas, more emergences, more of that beautiful song that signals summer. So come join us in protecting pollinators, celebrating them. And if you can't approach them with love, then at least approach them with curiosity. Well, Mark, thank you for all of that. Cicadas, how next year? I love the spin that she puts <laughs> on that sound, too. I know, right? The sound we enjoy. The Butterfly Pavilion tells us the annual honey harvest will be later than usual this year because of the increased moisture and climate change.